All right, man. Long time no see. I'm off the beach with my buddy Lex again. What's Lex up? Hunt. Hey. We're on the 18-foot Carolina skiff. Yes, sir. And uh, we are jigging off the beach, looking for whatever bites. Started at seven miles, no good. Pushed our way to about that 15-mile range now. Well, it's been really cold, so I don't know, you know, the bite isn't uh, quite as glamorous as it was a month or two ago. Let's see what we can do. Some shit yeah, there. that's it. Uh, the drop is all about a little more. Get those ringtails going. Yeah. We're marking ringtails, drop the motor. All right. I'm gonna go with the croc spoon. Let's see what we got here, Cap. Could be, could be. I'm praying. Could be, could be. Well, it might be a 14. Yeah. Find out right now. That's a black sea bass. We're allowed seven per person. Well, Lex has found the wreck, but seven per person. Uh, minimum size 13 inches. So let's see. Yeah, it's fifth, about 15. Hate that crocodile spoon. Going old school today. That's what I'm jigging with right now. Old school croc spoon. Black sea bass. All right, man. We have to work to get a couple bites, so. Flounder. Flounder? Feels like it. If it shakes like it, and it feels like it, it just be, might be it. Uh, it's a flounder, a gulf flounder too. Unfortunately, I can't add this one to the cooler. Season's closed, but that's all right. Fish here. I see bass here. Took the croc spoon too. Let's just see here. Yep, 15. 15 and change. Plenty of sea bass. All right. I think they'll eat that. All right, so just dropping this down in the bottom, yo-yoing it a little bit, and uh, taking it from there. Fish take a minute sometimes to, to hit it, but it's usually pretty quick. Fishing about 70 feet. I pinned them right under me. Really? That's a, I don't know, I'm kidding. It feels like they might be all under me right now. Smaller one. All on that spoon, huh? Yeah, it's the cro croc spoon. I got a bunch, I got a couple extra croc spoons. I, I, I think I found, I found them on sale for three bucks. Did you? Yeah, so. Paying off. They're paying dividends right now. Winter dividends. Fourteen. I like that, huh? All about that spoon life. First one to look at the lizard fish, though, loses. Keep that that guy away. Nice one, man. Well, seem to be keepers, that's for sure. Now, at least, 
took a minute for them to grow. It's probably one of the first lures I ever fished with, honestly. That jigging spoon, yeah. 15. It right, looks a little pretty colors on this one. Oops, let me change, change the, the angle. Beautiful fish. Yeah, these, these guys are renowned for their table fare quality. Very good eating. Calm down a little bit out here. They definitely did. The sun feels nice too. Seems like they come in waves. You'll get like one or two and then Oh, no, they won't. I won't catch them again for a minute, and then they come back. Oh, that was a good bite. See, we're using lures, so we don't have to fight those ringtails because they those things suck. Ring the the ringtails. Oh, yeah. Want nothing to do with those fellas. They're down, They're down here. This is a very nice sea bass I've got on here. Oh, sorry. Let me get in there. Nah, yeah. I'm gonna gamble with swing. So he's trying to be a size of a grouper. So, you got one? There you go. Little one. Just wondering about the grunts. Alright, guys, that's a knot head right there. Got a grunt. Look at alive. Good Check that fish out. See that? A big head on him. He's gonna be 20? No, 19, 18 and a half, 19. That's a monster, dude. 18 and a half. Not That's too bad. Monster. Can't complain about doing that on a February, near February day. Oh, look what he spit up. That looks like a. What is it? I think that's a pinfish where that's those perch that I see inshore. Looks like a little croaker kind of. Yeah, it looks more like a yeah. croaker. Oh no, it's that Tom Tate guy. Oh. oh it's a grunt. A little grunt family. He's got his bread mouth there. Yeah, give him the spoon action. Old spoon. Yeah, we like to spoon fish. <laughs> spoon feed these fish. All right, it's got a little heavier line on here. I got my adrenaline pumping, dude. I don't think that was, I don't know. That was a heavy fish, bro. It was. Got my first grunt here. Something like that. Yeah, I grunt. That is another good sea bass. Just one went for the glow spoon. Let's see what we got here. This guy is 16 and a half. What was that other one, 18? About 18, 18 and a little over 18. Good at Pretty fish, man. Uh, I think there's structure, a lot of structure back there, probably. Yeah. about 15. Right, let's see, I think that puts us, how many you get so far? I put three in there. Three, I think this is my six or seven.
Grunt hunt. Got me a decent one. Got me a decent grunt here. All right, that's the white grunt. Allowed 10 of these a day too. I'm gonna keep a couple. These guys are just as good as black sea bass. If you're ever traveling around the coast, you'll see sometimes they're called gray snapper. I guess it's a better marketing term than grunt. It took a minute. We got, uh, I think about 13, no, 10 or 11 legal sea bass there. Uh, one or two mystery bites. Bites slowed down on this spot. We're gonna go hit a wreck now. See what's uh, see what that's gonna produce. But decent bite. It took a minute to find these sea bass. They're pretty far off the beach, I guess. Now, um, I'm sure, there's still some eight to ten miles, but everywhere we look today, that wasn't happening with them. So, glad we found a few though. AJ, hey, oh, cool all the way though. Come on, Daddy. Might be an AJ. Nice, that dude hook popped out. I think that's a small AJ. No, no, I'm gonna You can lay it right there, I got you. Or maybe a rudder fish even? Nice, dude. Okay. Up, Run. Mm, nah, maybe. Nah, see that. Oh. Nice one. That one will keep. Oh, he's barely hooked, guys. He barely hooked. Oh, oh. oh. got him. All right. Yeah, look at that one. Chunky boy right there. Also went for the jig and spoon. These are Cabela's ones. I'll put a link in the video's description. These are great value lures. All these are also really good value lures. I like that. You know, like three bucks. Maybe now they're probably four or five. Cabela's, yeah. But well, they're great. Good for sea bass and all sorts of bottom fish. We started um, on natural bottom where we did good last month. Uh, now we went out to a public artificial reef. And it's pretty good today. This is this is usually how black sea bass fishing goes for me. Oh my gosh, he's got a baby stone crab in his freaking mouth. What? <laughs> oh my god. Eating your stone crabs, guys. Less sea bass, more stone crabs. All right, let's give Lex a thanks. What's up, guys? Check out his YouTube channel. It's Lex Hunt. I'll put a video, a link in the video's description. We worked it pretty good today. Um, check out today's video sponsor. That's Waterland Coast Sunglasses. These are their new glass lenses and they're awesome so i would uh take a look at them uh if you're in the market for a good pair of polarized lenses uh, i'll put links in the video's description everything we used hey it's that time of year um sea bass along the beach sporadic videos i'll fish when the weather's good and you know try my best um, don't, don't think for one second i haven't been out in the last two weeks getting skunked and <laughs> beat up in weather we're having real mediocre days just saying uh, i've been out i haven't been sitting around that's for sure so all right as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you on the next video.